Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you haven't been here before, I'm Tracy, and this is a DIY upcycling channel where we take pre-owned items and turn them into one-of-a-kind purses, clothing, and accessories. And today, I want to work on a pair of jeans. I want to do some patchwork, slit it open partially on the side, do some grommets and leather straps. I have a pair of stretchy American Eagle jeans and I liked these because they're a light wash and they're kind of fitted in the leg. Now mine flare out a little bit at the bottom but this would be a great idea if you have some narrow maybe skinny jeans not too tight at the ankle to open those back up and give them a more trendy, wider kind of flare at the bottom. So I'm going to take my sandals off, put my slippers on and get rolling. First thing I'm going to do is go to this outside seam on both sides of the leg, measure up from the bottom 13 and a half inches and make a mark and do the same on the opposite leg. Now I'm just simply going to cut along that seam up to that mark on both sides of the pant legs. Okay, so now I want to go to my stash of scrap denim and I'm just going to cut out some random shaped patches and various colors. I'm going to go all the way from light to black. Before I start cutting out patches, I am going to draw my basic shape of how I want the patches laid on my leg. So here's the top of the slit. I am just going there and I'm just going to draw sort of random, almost like a bumpy little hill. And I'm going to do the same on this side. And then I'm going to do the same on the back side. Okay, I'm cutting out one more patch for this front. And I will probably trim that. Now what I'm doing, see, I made that kind of rounded hill that is just sort of a guideline. I am not trying to get the shape of that. So here's my last one. And I am butting them up to the very edge of the pants down here and the very edge of that slit. I don't want to really see that. I want to see these patches. And I started with one, laid another one down, and just kind of puzzle it in there till I have the look that I like. And I like this look, so now I'm going to start pinning that on. I decided to add one more right here that will wrap around the back. I stuck an old cutting mat in between the pant legs so that I can pin easier. And I am just going to get these all pinned on a flattened out box, like a priority box. You can slip in between there and that helps as well, I just want to make sure my pins don't catch the back side of the jeans. And I'm going to get these all pinned on, and then I will do this side, turn it over, and do the back as well. Okay, now I have this side laid out and ready to pin. Now the back side's all laid out and ready to pin on. Okay. Now I have the front and the back all pinned. And now it's time to sew the patches on. To sew these on, all I'm going to do is use a simple straight stitch, gold colored thread, and go around all the edges until everything is secure. Okay, patches are all sewn. There's the back. 
Now it's time to do the grommets. First thing I had to do was just take a piece of paper and make a template. Now this is 12 and a half inches tall and two inches across. And then I took my ruler and from the very top, I measured down one and a half inches and made a mark. And then from there on, I made a mark every one and a half inches until I got to here. I am not going to put grommets in this space down here. So that will give me starting at the top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grommets on this side. And then I went to the opposite side over here and did the exact same thing. Put a dot every one and a half inches. Now these are across from one another. Okay, so here's the bottom of my pant leg. I folded it in half so that the slit is in the center and facing me. And what I want to do now is line that up perfectly. So that slit is closed here for a minute. And now I took my template and I folded it in half to help me guide it down the center. And the end where we went down one and a half, not where I have this big space here, I'm going to, that is the top. I'm going to line that up at the top of that cut. And this crease will help me line that up with that slit. And then I'm just going to take a marker and I'm going to mark right there at the top, right where each one of those dots are. I'm just marking right outside, making sure this crease is in the center of that slit. And then I'm going to go to the other side and mark that as well. Okay, that's where I want my grommet. Now I'm using this kit that I got from Amazon. I'll put the link in my description. It's assorted colors. I'm sure you could find a smaller amount of just the color you need. And this has everything I need, including instructions in order to do my grommets. But in addition to that, you'll need a little block of wood and a little hammer. The actual grommet will be two parts. They call this the male side and then female. And then there's three tools inside of here. One that looks like this. One that looks like this. And this one. I'm going to use a scrap piece of denim just because I think it'd be easier to show you. But then this is how I will do it on the jeans. So I'm going to make a dot to represent the dots that we have on the jeans that we marked with that template. Now, I improvise here because this tool has a little hole and you're supposed to be able to put that hole over top of your dot and hammer it. I'm not going to do it. I'm too close to my phone and hammer it and cut a hole. Well, I have never been able to get these to cut a hole for me, so I improvise and I do something a little different. I take my hole and I fold it like this and I make a little snip. Keep in mind, these are only quarter inch grommets. That's the size of the center in the middle or the size of the hole in the middle. So I don't want to make this super big, but I want to make it big enough for that to go through. So I made a snip one way, I'm going to fold it the other way and make another little snip. And I think that is so much easier. Keep in mind, there are professional other tools you can get if you're doing a lot of grommets. I just don't want to spend the money. I don't do enough of them to justify the cost. So this kid has this little piece here. I'm going to set that on my block of wood. And then I'm going to take the male grommet side and set that on top of there. 
And now I'm going to take my denim and push that down over top of that male piece. Now my hole's not quite big enough, which is better than too big. Okay, now I'm pushing it completely down where I can see the metal coming through there. Okay, and then I'm going to take this female side and there's a smooth kind of finished part and then there's an unfinished part, a kind of concave. I'm going to put the smooth, nice side up and right over top of that little male piece. And then I take this tool. Now it has a little hole in the center. I put that right over top of this little peg and then I hammer the top. Now I'm going to have to move the camera away a little bit so I don't smash it. And I'll show you, I just pound on the top. Now I can just remove this and I have my grommet. Now these edges can be a little rough on some sides, sometimes depending on how it laid. And when I find a rough spot, I usually just take this piece, put it back over and just tap around and then just kind of move it. And usually that gets that smoother. I will start one hole for you so you know which side to lay down on top of this little anvil looking thing. I don't know, whatever that is. I am going to, okay, so I put my little grommet over top of my tool and then I'm going to take the right side, the nice side of the jeans and I will put that right on top of this piece. So when we hammer on this side, the less attractive side is actually going to be on the inside. So the holes that we're cutting in the jeans compared to my sample one is they're double layered because of the patches. So I've been having to come through on this side and just kind of clean up my hole a little bit so that it fits nicely over that little, I'm calling it an anvil, <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, you just have to work with it a little bit, have fun. I'm finding out the harder you whack this with your hammer, the more smooth these seem to be. Now, all you expert, um, grommet installers happy to hear your advice but be kind because I'm more of a jack of all trades definitely not a master of this one but I know enough to get it done <laughs> okay all finished with the grommets now I'm just going to wash these and dry them on my normal setting that I wash jeans in warm water tumble dry and that will get all these patches fraying. I may have to clip some wild ones, but when I get all that done, I'll come back and we'll put in the leather laces. Okay, so I have some leather laces here. There are two of them and they're each six foot long and they're top green, the color is saddle brown eighth of an inch wide and I'll put a link to these the Amazon link in my description so let's lace up the pants okay I did this one you can do yours any way you want you can bring grommets all the way down to the bottom if you want I am leaving sort of an open V about uh, almost a hand height right here and then the rest of the cut is together from here on up. Now I just took my lace, kind of like doing shoes, you know, it's pretty easy. And I'm going in 
the top with one end, going through the top side of the pants with the other end, and then I am going to line these up at the bottom. You won't, it'll be out of the shot, but I'm just making sure I have the same length here. Okay. Now I'm going underneath on each side. How about I just, um, I'll do a different shot where I speed it up. It's, it's like lacing boots or shoes. Now I'm just going to tie it in a double knot here and clip these kind of short. Now when you launder these, I would take the laces out. I don't know if they'll hold up to washing very well. So I'm going to go put these on and show you what they look like. Okay, all finished. How fun are these? What a great way to spice up your wardrobe. Wonderful for a festival or a concert. If you're a seller, I want to say something about jeans. They were one of my favorite things to make and sell because you get a lot of bang for your buck. They didn't cost that much to buy. They're $5.99 at My Goodwill. They're plentiful and there's so many different ideas that you can create with jeans and they don't take terribly long and you get pretty good prices for them. So just a hint there, if you create to sell, I am going to slow it down and give you a close up of the details. Have fun creating and thank you so, so much for watching.